This is the TI Stellaris eval bot, and I'm going to run it using the default uh, firmware here. Let's run that, turn it on. It has a really cool OLED display here. And if I just press one of these buttons on the right, it's going to start running and it'll uh, randomly turn around, but it'll also turn around any time that I uh, uh, bump into something using these two sensors. Uh, the sensors are just simply switches. You can see here that are activated by these little bumpers. Uh, the underside has the two motors that are built into it. It's run off three batteries. Uh, the whole kit actually came as a single uh, single piece of board here that you just pop all the pieces out and assemble it together. So that was pretty nice. Let me let me get it running. Have it bump into something. You need a pretty flat surface for this. Uh, it doesn't have a whole lot of traction, so I tried it like on a tile floor and it just kind of slid around a lot. I also tried it inside a plastic box and got the same thing. Um, and obviously you're not going to get it to run on a carpet, but it's a pretty neat little robot board just to mess around with. Turn that off. Uh, it seems to have some pretty decent expansion. I mean, there's an Ethernet port in the back. There's the ability to be a USB host as well as a USB device. Uh, there is a sorry about the focus there. There's another USB looking port that says ICDI. I'm not sure what that is. I'll have to look uh, look in the docs or look it up. And there's also a little SD card slot. Um, I'll have the specs for this on my blog as well as some photos of uh, what it took to put it together. Again, it was pretty simple. Uh, but you see it's a, a fairly complicated board. There's quite a bit of stuff going on here, so I imagine it has uh, quite a few capabilities that I'm uh, overlooking at the moment, though, that I think would be a lot of fun. I mean, it also has a speaker down here at the bottom. I understand it has um, some audio codec stuff or, or at least a, a DAC or something like that. So uh, I'll uh, write up some more about it once I play with it some more. Thanks.